Hey, I want to, I want to, um, read something to you guys. Um, this is a Bible and I had been to church in a long time and I went to church, not last week, but the week before. And the pastor often reads something and, um, I will, uh, usually, um, you know, I get what he's saying and stuff, but usually when it comes back to me, when it gets in my heart, it usually means something else. <laughs> okay. Now, I don't know if that's good or bad, but I'm trying to tell you guys because, um, it's something I want to share with you. So I'll get it. And then, you know, I guess actually, um, I was reading, uh, listening to brother Gilbert and, uh, you know, it says meditate on the word and stuff like that. I don't know if I do all that. I'm not, you know, as educated and all that stuff with it. But what I'm saying is, is that it starts to mean something. And the word of God can do like that. It means it talks to everybody's heart in different ways. Those who, you know, hearts it talks to. Okay. But um, I want to read this to you because I want to, the reason why I want to read this is because I'm sharing, I want to share something else with you guys. I want to share some good news with you. Not really, I don't want to share the good news. I want to let y'all know that I got some good news. And and so this parable meant something completely different, but you know, I related to this good news. All right. All right. Um, uh, now you can judge it however you want. Everybody, you know, I'm not perfect. I always tell people, you know, and uh, and that's what it's about, you know, everybody's nobody's perfect it says all fall short of the glory of god okay so there is nobody on this planet that's perfect i think we all know that you know and so um so but my point is sometimes is like you know admit it and then you can be healed or uh helped you know all right and i think you all can all like until you it's like uh alcoholism or anything unless you admit it you know, you can't get help. So I want to read it or I'll go on. I'll go on. And um, so my point is, is that I have some good news. Uh, I got some good news today. I can't say exactly what it is, but it was some news I was waiting on a long time and it's relative to me and my imperfect world, but it's it was good news for me, okay? Um, you know, it's deep. Anyway, but uh, so... So that had nothing to do with actually the scripture. So I want to read the scripture to you for those still listening. And it's Matthew 13, 44. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure hid in a field. That's not the one I want. It's 45. Okay, sorry. And again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man seeking goodly pearls. And I want to explain that this, uh, speaking goodly pearls, who uh, is two verses, 45 and 46. And who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Okay. Now, I want to just explain it how my pastor explained it. And then uh, uh, I want to explain what, what, you know, even when sometimes when he says something, you know, you get a hold of something and, and it, it, he doesn't really go into, or it doesn't go into you, but it touches you. And it might not touch somebody else, but something else about this, which is not the full story, touched me. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Okay, so. And the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man. Now, I want to explain this. This merchant man was not your average Joe. He was not the average person buying and selling. He was somebody looking or seeking uh, a good uh, seeking goodly pearls okay so this is a merchant man who was a bit of a collector who was seeking goodly pearls now he, this man was lavish he had money he could collect you know he had power he had so much money he could just say something and you know it could be done you know, uh, so it was like, you know, at a, like an auction, you know, the, the actual person on the floor, you, in some cases, aren't really the buyers. They're buying for somebody else. And that person, they just get the word, get that for me and get that for me. You know, that's the kind of person, power this had. This guy had his lavish power. He had lavish money. He had over and abundantly, you know. So, 
So this wasn't your average money. He was a collector. He, he collected uh, stuff. And he was seeking goodly pearls. This is a special kind of pearl. This was like the good stuff. It's like, you know, you have excellent and then there's beyond excellent, okay? This was the rare find, okay? This was beyond anything you can imagine. It was better than anything. And, okay, and so, you know, you see a pearl and there's so many colors of it, you know, and especially back in this day, this was like pearls. You would never see culture pearls, you know. Now they have fakes, imitations, and all that stuff. This was a real McCoy, and, you know, pearls was a real rare thing. And if you imagine pearls, pearls come from, from, uh, 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 this oyster in, in which a piece of sand gets in the oyster and then the uh, oyster starts to secrete this type of I don't know if it's calcium or what but it's it's like that sand gets in the oyster and it aggravates it and it secretes like mollusk or something like that uh, and it, it actually keeps secreting for years and years and years. And so to relieve itself of the pain of the sand, it actually calcifies or as we would do if we get cut, cut by a, a anything, we start to... Um, calcify or like when like a guitar player you know you know if you keep playing it's, it's suffering and all that stuff but you keep playing and then you get calluses and then you just get better and better you know and you just don't even feel it you know through all this um playing you just eventually don't even feel it and it becomes a very you know it's you know they're hard and they're smooth you know just like this pearl and this pearl makes all these rainbowful and beautiful colors so, but it, it comes out of suffering. It comes out of being aggravated. It comes from pieces of sand. It comes from these little things, maybe one or two, three, four pieces of sand, maybe a gullop. That's my message. You know, you ever notice like before, and I don't know how, if it affects anybody else, but I always notice before something good happens in my life, you know, before something like I have what I call a breakthrough. I like saying, you know, I like having breakthroughs. Some people say, oh, I had a breakthrough this year. I like to have a breakthrough every day, you know, <laughs> you know, so, you know, it's like before something really great happens, you have all these problems coming out of nowhere, just extraneous, just you didn't even intend it. It was a little thing, you know, like, <laughs> you know, like the other day I gave a friend of mine, I gave him um, a DVD. And I should learn because every person I give a DVD, they never return it. I don't know. It's like you say, I can have it. But, you know, you literally give it to them. And I think it is my friend. I trust him. I love him. Everything. You know. You know. Three months go by. Still no DVDs. I have to ask him five times. Still won't bring my... I've known this guy for years, you know. And never... I always assume, you know. And so, you know, just this... Trying to do something good for somebody. And then it turns into this big ordeal or this big mess because you tried to help somebody else out so you might give them something or something like that you know and then it comes back onto you all this kind of flag but you know oftentimes it's because you know god is taking something in you your goodwill and bringing out something else bigger and better and coming back in return and, and something pr to produce something better so that little piece of sand that gets into you you know you know it'll calcify and turn into this beautiful pearl now this pearl was so great and this guy had so much money that when he got it he immediately dropped everything he was doing gave all his money up and said, you know, of all the things I had, this pearl is what. Now, it don't have to be valuable to you, but it is absolutely valuable to him. So today, I got something that was very valuable to me. It might not be valuable to anybody else, but I thought about all the problems that kept coming. And so when I get to this situation, when I have a lot of stuff that is coming my way and it's just causing me problems, some people can like have one problem and they fall apart. 
you know, some people have 10, 12 problems and then they got to do this while they're doing this and then this happens, you know. That's because you have so much integrity. You are so built inside. One problem ain't good enough for you. You can handle 10 or 12 problems, okay? So they said, the Lord ain't going to never put on more than you can bear. So anyway, my work, my message was, uh, 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 is that, um, you know, you know, think of these little sands and these little things that come up and aggravate you and get in you and make you, you know, secrete calcium. Think of it as you making your pearl and that uh, beautiful thing is happening in your life with these things. So whenever I have a problem, I usually look for, I usually say to myself, uh-oh, I got a lot of problems, something good about to happen. Have that kind of attitude, you know. Anyway, God bless you. Love you all.